Alright guys, welcome to the episode. Today is Tuesday, November 24th. We're actually on our way back to the cities for Thanksgiving. Um, on the way, we're actually going to stop at Next Level in Apple Valley, which you guys will see. But stopped at Quick Trip real quick to get a little snack. We got the chocolate chip cookie dough Quest bar. I did hear that Quest did have a new recipe for this and cookies and cream. I highly doubt they're at Quick Trip right now, but that's what I heard. We're on the street that there's a new recipe for these. And then we also got one of these zero calorie energy monsters. Um, these things bring a lot of memories back from the prep season. I lived off these easily one or two a day just to get, like, get some energy because I was feeling like shit during prep. Probably not one or two a day. I'm just kidding. Maybe like one or two every other day. But um, brings back memories and I'm going to sip on this, eat this. We're going to be hitting chest at next level like I said. When we're there, I'll tune in with you guys, so stay tuned. What's going on guys? We just killed chest and triceps here at Next Level Fitness in Apple Valley, Minnesota. Um, if you're ever in the area, you know, come check out this gym. It's awesome. It has that nice old school vibe, a lot of old equipment, and it just feels awesome. Always getting great workouts here. But uh check out this Elliot Fitness Thermal coming soon, hopefully. But anyways, something I want to talk about is uh goals and a lot of people always talk about their goals and how they're gonna achieve them and whatnot, but they never wanna put action towards it. And that is something that I'm planning on doing this off season because looking at my physique and stuff, you, you can always tell your weakest body parts. And a lot of people say, oh, you know, I'm gonna bring it up and do this and do this, but they never really do it. And they always, you know, train body parts that they like to do. And that's probably one of their strongest body parts. And then there's gonna get an uneven physique. And that's something that, I'm gonna try not to do and just hammer out the weakest body parts of mine, which is chest, delts, traps, and arms. Not to say that I'm gonna neglect you know, my back and legs. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna still hit those, but um, give a little bit extra love to the legging body parts. So next time I do step on stage, I will you know, come with an improved physique and compete in the open and novice class of bodybuilding and leaving you know, the TN and collegiate behind just because I will also be older and more experienced. And that goes to say with uh, a lot of New Year's resolution out there. A lot of people are going to be hitting the gym when New Year's comes around, you know, wanting to improve their physique, improve their health and fitness. And that's why the gym is always crowded. But, you know, two months later, we see those people disappear slowly. And this whole thing takes time. That's why, you know, I'm taking a good year and a half to two years off to improve my physique. And we have other people, you know, going in clocking in, not giving it their all each workout, and just going through the motions, not pushing themselves, and not bettering themselves every day. And when you know when a month hits, two months hit, and they're not changing, they wonder why. And you gotta go into the gym and not go through the motions and just hit every workout 
like it's, you know, your last workout on this earth. Just hit it hard, hit it good, and that's how you're gonna see uh, changes. If your diet's on point, and your training's on point, and every day in the gym you're trying to better yourself, that's how you're gonna make gains, and that's how, you know, you're gonna strive to be better. And that's the goal, is always to be better than you were yesterday. Like, next chest workout, I hope it's 10 times better than this one. And then the one after that, 10 times better than that one. That goes with every workout, like I said. But like I said, it takes time, it takes consistency, and you just gotta have, you know, you gotta love it too. If you don't love it, that's why they quit too. They either don't love it, or they're not seeing the changes fast enough, and that's the two things you gotta do. Love it, and realize it takes time, and it take, might take years, you know? I'd rather have someone go after a goal that takes a year, two years, three years, four years down the road and finally accomplish that goal instead of throwing in the towel, you know, two months in because they're not seeing any changes. Anyways, guys, that wraps up the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you.